You look like you need a drink. You know. In your black heart of hearts, you know. Well, I had it all once. Fortune, fame, but nothing satisfied. To thine own self be true. Polonius. Me too. Pull the trigger and take her last breath. You gotta go out and grab life. Well, of course these make no sense. These aren't the right ones. You're working off an old draft. My father was a true believer. Ate a little cracker and drank the wine every Sunday. And he was the meanest son of a bitch you've ever seen. Well, then, I guess I'm just going to have to kill God. That is my message to the world. That sounds obscene. Good. You found your calling. Then you can appreciate what I've built here. Secret rooms, hinged walls, acid pits, asphyxiation chambers. Good. Now. My God, look at this. You can't be allowed to touch a single room. Oh. Ah, we're all here now. Let's sit. Only so many hours in the night. This is my problem with police officers. All you care about is evidence. Evidence, evidence, evidence. Until that evidence no longer fits the narrative you need to be true. Thank you all for being here on Devil's Night. I look around and I see the definition of American success. They write books about you. Good to see your fine. Truly checking in to the Hotel Cortez. I'd like to welcome you all to the opening week of the Hotel Cortez. Ah! He's dead! Your heart's beating like a hummingbird. Let me go! No, I don't suppose I will. In fact, I may never let you go. Hardly a concern, Miss Evers. Splendid! Why, I couldn't be more pleased. Let's have a toast, shall we? Who's the lucky fellow? I'd like to send him some steaks. I'm dead, dear, not stupid. Might I suggest that when you murder him, you do so off the property? It'd be damned awkward to keep running into him for all eternity. Who is interrupting us? A break of finger who dares ring that bell? I need to spend some real time with this man. But darling... Why? This man has greatness in him. Once in a generation rage. A man only has a grip as tight as he does, because he knows that if he lets go even slightly, he will hurl himself into the abyss. You carry yours like a man with a sack full of rocks crossing a river. One false step, and you go under. What's holding you down is a moral code contrived by man. Laws written by bureaucrats. Take my hand and climb out of that morass. I want to share a story about a guest who came to this hotel. You took your pain and you made the world a cleaner place. That's a decidedly positive first step. You won't get caught. Because you're going to make yourself lead detective on the case. Look at this suit I'm wearing. It was covered in bile. Literal bile from a pulmonary knife the other day. It's like nothing was ever there. <laughs> but the Countess is a creature from heaven. Style. Grace. Don't worry your pretty head, dear. I'll see to it you get what you want. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Please! Our dinners are my sole comfort in this Stygian heap. <laughs> Felicitations to the happy couple. <laughs> we are led by the women in our lives, are we not? Initially, I had my doubts the child was of my own flesh and blood. You see, he doesn't bear any of the distinctive March features. 
diamond jaw, strong piercing eyes, a flair for the dramatic. He has quite a delicate temperament, as you'll get to know. A man is only as good as his word. <laughs> Ever since my death, my hunting grounds have been limited to the confines of this hotel. And as rich as it may be, there are opportunities available to you that I can only dream of. Forget her. I find spouses to be a distraction. I suspect my own to have been in my career prematurely by turning me into the police. Precocious. I'd expect nothing less from my star pupil. Come! Your reunion awaits. You may be a witch. <laughs> But I'm a ghost. A shame she had to die. Who the hell are you? James Patrick Marsh. I need you to kill the Countess. She's on the verge of absconding forever, and I will not allow it. Give yourself a smile, John. Ten commandments. Each victim a worthy representative of their sin. And the last one. Thou shalt not commit murder. I suppose you or I could be sitting on that shelf, but your choice was inspired. Couldn't have worked out any better if I planned it myself. Take my hand. It'll take some time to acclimate yourself to your new state. I thought the Ten Commandment killings were the beginning of my work, but it turns out that they are the epilogue. The torch has been passed, and I feel complete. Enough! This is not a democracy. We are not in the House of Lords. We are a ship at sea. And when it comes to you spirits, I am captain. So listen up, mateys! Sally, I don't want to get rough with you, but you and I both know there is a way to get you to do as I please. What is that like? Is it a moving picture like so many cells on a film reel, or more like a kaleidoscope of human suffering? My murderer's role. How odd it must be to see all of us then in what appears to be the flesh. Flesh enough to eat. Besides hearts, I can teach you spades, poker, blackjack, bridge, rummy. Ah, a live one. You're a plucky one. I admire that. But as you already know, Queenie, you can never leave this place. Fuck you, March. Only amateurs keep score. What a fascinating specimen. Alive, yet so intimate with the dead. Take his hand, Queenie. I'm not sure you have a choice. Solitaire it is.